hello everyone in this session i'll just uh, go through this particular pistol wall that is cft analysis on this uh, piston wall by using solvox flow simulation okay i'll create a new study by utilizing the wizard option okay and you can uh, name your uh, project as piston study so we can utilize the unit systems which you want so right now i'm going to deal with the si unit and the pressure unit i'm going to change it to bars from pascal okay and the analysis table I'll set it to internal and i'll utilize this option exclude cavities without flow conditions okay and I'm not going to deal with these features right now it is not needed here and the fluid i'll utilize water as default you can just double click to activate that so the parameters i'll keep it at embedding ball condition and here also i'll keep all the parameters as default pressure one bar and the temperature okay once you set it you're gonna have the uh, computational fluid diamond automatically created you can cross check it by utilizing section view otherwise you can utilize the uh, transparency mode you can set it to any of the value here and we can have that okay so right now i'm not going to use this transparency uh, transparency sorry i'll set it to zero i'm going to utilize the section view actually uh this uh, nozzle is you know behind this whatever the cavity is there it is not needed for my simulation so what you can do is you can utilize this option you can edit it you can directly use this arrow marks to change the uh, few domain conditions and even you can utilize the symmetry and quarter options. So let's say this is a circular Assembly right if I consider only a quarter section of this and if you do the simulation for that, that's well and good And if you want to consider entire uh, model into account, that's also okay. You just need to define the fluid domain accordingly, so I'm gonna utilize the entire assembly into account so I'll just utilize the bit larger one the computational domain I need it so I'll set it to 7 okay fine so this this much is the portion which I'm gonna consider in two simulation process here and I'm gonna hide this fine um, now to deal with uh, boundary conditions you can utilize the uh, different option in dead mass flow or the velocities and all but right now I'm, I'm gonna deal with the pressure I'll apply the static pressure on this face you can check this one pin it so that you can apply the multiple pressure conditions I'll apply it as two bar okay that has been applied and next thing is to assign the uh, outlet pressure for this all the uh, circular cutouts so i'll just select the inlet face so that we can directly consider that one as outlet here i'll define the pressure as one bar and done next thing is to assign goals there are different uh, kinds of goals are available that is global goals and we have the service goals and the volume and equation goals right now i'm going to consider the every static pressure on entire model okay on this region and i need even surface goal on this nozzle okay surfaces okay on this i want to just calculate how much uh, force that is neural force is acting on this particular uh, nozzle due to the uh, fluid flow that is uh, liquid water flow and you can see the axis here it is along x direction i need the force along x so you can utilize this arrow mark and you can select this option the maximum force okay already set my goals here and you can simply run the study and get the results before that uh, i want to deal with uh, uh, the very important uh, thing that is the uh, parametric study here by using this 
parametric studies you could able to define the goal optimization and the what if analysis and the design of experiments and optimization let's say uh, i'll just give the scenario i want to optimize the flow okay it should give the maximum flow rate with respect to this nozzle position let's say from uh, this particular phase to this region it is of on an average uh, 6 mm will consider so at what location i need to place my piston so that it should have the maximum outlet flow rate how to set it by using these options let's say i'm going to utilize this goal optimization here i'll just uh, showcase it so my goal is to assign the like let me just take the uh, meets here i want to consider the distance between this phase to this phase okay you can see this one so i'll just select that to add it here here you can define the range so let's say it is minimum should be for me 0 0.003 okay 3 mm to 6 mm is the distance so it should vary accordingly and from there which is the optimum uh, goal criteria that is the force newton you can just calculate it let me just click on in the criteria i'm going to select the goal that is this okay that you can define it by using this option here that is target value how much your goal should be okay so let's say my, uh, for me uh, i need 6 newton or you can apply 7 newton the maximum uh, like uh, target so to attain the 6 newton force on the piston where i need to place this nozzle at what distance okay you can add the plus or minus how much you want you can add 0 0.15 plus or minus or 0 0.3 that's fine uh, let me just assign it as 6.5 okay this is the target value okay and here you can set up the uh, output parameters what exactly needed so you can even set it this one only the that is sg force and scenarios so here uh, you can define the number of uh, calculations so like you can set it to 20 or 50 or whatever you want right now i'll simply run it so it gonna uh, run the study until and unless it converges to your uh, given value that is target value 6.5 so it gonna run the study up to uh, the target value 6.5 newton is achieved with respect to your uh, uh, piston distance and the uh, force so how much is the force you needed in the goal now to attain that one so target value 6.5 until and unless it get the 6.5 value it gonna run the study okay Okay, here you can see uh, at uh, the distance of 0. Point, uh, sorry, 5.07 mm. So we have achieved that is uh, 6.75 Newton. So it is approximately near to our target value, right? So it shows at this location you can achieve this much. So this is kind of uh, goal optimization results. And you can see I have defined the uh, distance of 6 mm. And the target value is here but uh, for 6 mm it has shown that is 8.44 value we'll just cross check uh, how much it gonna give with the normal study now i'll just click on green check now so i'll utilize the normal study here by just running the study using the default uh, meshing conditions you can utilize the uh, advanced uh, meshing options here by setting up to level 7 otherwise you can use the advanced channel requirement to refine at this uh, like particular regions by using this manual study also you can able to do that one so right now i'm not gonna deal with these all the steps i'll simply utilize the uh, default mesh and i'll run the study
so it gonna run after certain iterations yeah the solver called converge at uh, 98th iteration so you can see the results got loaded here and you can utilize this section view to see them properly I'll use the cut plots here there are different plots are available surface plot cut plot and uh, like different things so right now I'm concerned about the uh, velocity and you can just simply click on the show icon to see how it is distributing over there so if you want the results in more uh, finer uh, manner you can just uh, utilize your mesh so my mesh is two codes you can see here right you can refine your mesh so you can see the maximum velocity is uh, 23.4 h5 so and uh, these are the streamlines okay so you can have this kind of uh, cut plots here velocity I'll simply hide it and now I want to utilize the flow trajectories you can just uh, use the inlet option to just see how that is happening and here you can increase the number of uh, arrows so 0 0.0005 if I do that oh these are the size I sorry and zero 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 one I'll keep this one as same here I'll increase the number of points to 50 uh, that's okay so let me still make it 150 yeah that's fine so we can simply click on green check we can simply utilize the animate to cross check how it is distributing isn't it to have a better uh, visualization you can have this transparency to see mode which is active you can have the full preview and you can even have the transparency mode to this right now next thing here is stop this to deal with uh, again uh, parametric studies so I'll again create a new parametric studies by using what if scenario so what if scenario in the sense uh, so we already got the results uh, to just cross check that one let me just showcase the goals goal plot and I need the first value you can see it is 8.44 whatever the value we have got over there by using the parameter study for a 6 mm distance that's okay now what if in this sense uh, I, I don't I'm not concerned about only one result that is the nozzle distance from here to here it is uh, 6 mm what if it is uh, 2 mm what if it is 4 mm what if it is uh, 4.5 mm what are the results I need to cross check to do that kind of uh, uh, patch studies you can utilize the parametric study and you can use this what if scenario it is same again you can use the dimension parameters I'll just select the same distance so here you can set up the values using the discrete value as well as you can use the range or the range width and the range width step you can define the steps so 0.1 so if you define 0.1 so it's gonna take increments so here right now I'll utilize the discrete values let's say it is uh, 6 mm so I'll utilize one more for uh, 0. Uh, for 5 mm I need and even for 4 mm I need and one more for uh, 3 mm okay you can with this I need to include the inlet uh, pressure 
so that is of static pressure I have defined in the boundary condition right that I need to take into account so that is of uh, two bars right so I will take this one into account so what if I change it to discrete values to 1.5 okay what if it is 1.3 okay these are my initial uh, uh, inlet uh, static pressure so for these I need the results for these student range okay and you can even uh, set the output parameters so what exactly you want the results so I want only the force on the piston okay and you can see the scenarios has been created accordingly for all the values which are taken into account okay and you can simply directly run the study to get the results for these it's gonna take some time to create the results yeah here you can see uh, all the results has been uh, taken into account from 0.006.6 mm to 3 mm we got the results for uh, our inlet uh, pressures so for 1.3 at this particular 3 mm location you can see this is the result uh, yeah 0.128 bar and the initially we have got this so like this you can get it uh, the final uh, stage here is uh, to deal with again to make the design change as well as to deal with the parametric study you can consider both in this option that is design of experiments and the optimization here uh, you can consider both of the things for example uh, even the uh, what if scenario you can conclude in it and even you can consider the goal optimization so let's say I'll uh, redefine the initial conditions okay the range you can define it so let's say the range should be from uh, 0.003 3 mm to 6 mm range I'll consider it okay even the static uh, study range should be the same thing again I'll consider this one the range I can edit that one so one I'll consider 1.5 1 1.2 to 5 to 2 bar and the output parameters you can have it here the goal this should be and here you need the results accordingly okay for these all the design will be optimized as per this value okay so this gonna be replaced here and here you can create that particular experiment extra results so that you can directly import it and you can check the results so once you click on create it gonna give these okay for uh, this particular uh, piston so this is the static pressure and for this and this is a static pressure and uh, with respect to these studies it's gonna give the results okay what is the optimum results you can select it and you can first run this all the studies okay for uh, these all the experiments which have defined it you can even set a number of experiments to 20 or 10 as per uh, your requirement yeah here you can see a uh, number of experience I have defined it and 5 experience has been created I can define it 10 or 15 as per you will get the all the experiments here and if you click on find optimum it's gonna give this value so here you can set it objective function maximum if you want if I click on now uh, this option add optimal design point it's gonna give this is the optimum one so 0 0.06 the value is 8 newton 7.76 okay and then again you can uh, check the minimum here it gonna give the for that it has 0 0.03 and 1.5 that is 1.1 1 .1 bar sorry 1 newton 
right and even you can set your bond target you can set it and you can define your value so for me it should be uh, output should be let's say exactly 7 bar if I define it you can keep this is the optimum value that is 0 0.056 you gonna get exactly this much 7 bar okay so if you want exactly 8.44 you can run the multiple studies and you can get the results and if you want to import this study for example here you can see the piston distance is 6 mm right uh, I need this particular expense should be uh, added into account so I'll simply click on the create project so this project will be created over there and with respect to this particular study you will be having the results okay you can see that uh, geometry already added here configuration and the study is already loaded experiment 8 you can see geometric variation 2 that has been created and you can even uh, load the results of it and you can cross check okay accordingly And here the velocity is 15.43 and if you are switching to this you can see the location the piston location is of 6 mm and if I load the study and if I utilize this particular trajectory here that is 23.48 meter per second okay Yep, uh, that's how we need to deal with this particular scenarios. Thank you for watching.